Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm back with another boxy trim unboxing. This is February's base box, and I'm actually getting ready for work right now. I've already done my eyes, as you can tell, and I just kind of figured I can use the rest of what's in my boxy trim to kind of complete my look. I did peek a little when I first got it, and I mostly got like facial care. Well, not really facial care. There's like one skincare product, but every other product is like complexion based, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't get any like eyeshadow palettes, mascara, any of that. It's like face stuff so that's why I already went ahead and did my eyes to kind of save some time but yeah I just figured I can kind of show you guys what I got in my box this month and make a look out of it so if you guys want to see what I got in my boxy charm definitely go ahead and keep watching okay so I already went ahead and applied a moisturizer but the first thing that I did get in my boxy charm is this primer this is actually from pure and this is a four-in-one correcting primer it doesn't really say like from what I can tell anywhere on the product, what the four are, like what the four things that it does are. It just says that it's supposed to energize and rescue your skin, apparently. It's silicone free. Um, it's also got aloe, coconut water, and probiotics in it. So, sounds like it's good stuff. Um, it just says to smooth onto clean, dry skin alone or before makeup application. I already put on moisturizer, so I guess my skin isn't that dry, but oh well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Normally, if you've ever seen any of my other BoxyCharm videos, you know I always read off that little, like, insert card that they send in each box. I always say, like, the prices and, like, how much my box total is worth. I don't know why I was not expecting it to look like this. This is very, like, moisturizer-y. moisturizer -y? Like, moisturizer-looking. I mean, it says silicone-free, so I don't know what I was expecting. Um, anyway, yeah, I didn't get one of those inserts in my box this month, so I really don't have a way of telling you... Well, I could. I mean, for... Okay, so I did when I first got my box, and I looked, and I noticed that there wasn't an insert. I went ahead and already looked up the prices of everything. I don't really feel like doing it again. Honestly, my box totals to $150. It was like $150 or 152 so the value's there. I just, I just don't know the breakdown of, like, every single product, but... I guess that's not important, um, it's kind of more important like how the product works and if I like them or not, so, yeah. Oh well. This primer feels really good. I don't know if you can use this like in place of moisturizer because it was really moisturizing, but I don't know, I just added it because dry skin, I need all the moisture I can get. Okay, so next, oh man. I already messed up. Okay, so there was one product that I got in here. This is like the only like skincare product that I got, as I was saying earlier. And it's from First Aid Beauty, and it's their facial radiance pads. I wanted to use this before I used the primer, but I just... I wasn't thinking. Dang it. Okay, well, there's no point in me putting this on and then... Is there? No. I'll use this another time. I'll use it in another video, don't worry. But I did get these three little brushes. I believe the brand is called Alamar. I think that's how you say it. They have like chrome rose gold packaging. Really, really cute. They also feel like good quality. They definitely feel like a sturdy handle and the bristles feel really nice as well. And I got three of them. So this first one is called the brightening brush. This next one, this more like denser one is called the bronzer brush. And then this one is called a complexion brush. Huh. I don't know. I definitely saw, like, other people using these in, like, different ways. I kind of want to try this out with foundation, though. So this bronzer brush, I don't know. I feel like you would be good for foundation. Or should I just not even... You know what? I don't even like using brushes for my foundation. So I think I'm just going to go ahead... And do a sponge. I don't know. I'll try it out with the brush, and if I don't like it, I'm just gonna switch and use a sponge. So, anyway, yeah, I did get a foundation in my box this month. This was actually my choice product that I picked, and this is from Becca, and this is their Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And I am fake tanned right now, so I did try and pick a shade that would probably, hopefully, closely resemble my self tan skin. Uh, I don't know. This definitely looks more like pinky than I look right now, but. We'll see. If anything, the undertones might be a bit off, but I can always go in with concealer and hopefully fix that. But yeah, it's really cute. I love the glass bottle. I think it's really sleek and nice looking. It definitely looks like you get a lot in here. One full fluid ounce you get. And I also love how it has a pump. I just think it's really, really nice packaging. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Ooh, there it goes. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, it's a little bit dark. Maybe I didn't do that good picking my shade as I thought I would. I'm going to go in with this bronzer brush and just kind of see 
how well oh wow that actually covered oh oh that's covering really nice it kind of looks orange i'm not gonna lie it kind of looks orange but that's definitely my fault for not picking the right shade also think oh my god wait it's so orange stop like it's just so orange I'm trying to blend this like down my neck and everything on my ears that I don't even know if concealer can fix this at this point like I really might have to go in with a bit of a lighter foundation and kind of try and fix this let me see I will say it's blending out really nice and aside from like the color it covered so much so fast and I don't know if that's thanks to that brush but that brush applied this really really nicely and also the coverage was fantastic like full coverage like they're not lying when they say full coverage like I'm a little bit afraid right now with how full coverage that was can I even fix this if I just go overboard with concealer I'm gonna try where is my Tarte this is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I have this one in the shade Fair Light Neutral so I'm really really hoping if I just do a little bit more than I normally would that I can kind of even this out it's not as orange like I don't know how it looks on camera but like at first in person when I first put it on it was like oh my god it orange but now as it's like blending out and everything it's not as orange it's just a really like I don't want to say warm because I feel like warm tones are more like yellowy and this is kind of like a reddish tone if that makes sense but I mean it's just like I said it's a little bit too dark and also the undertone is off for me but aside from the color the foundation is fabulous like the formula is amazing i can already tell that looks good i looks i mean i don't be like it looks so good but like it looks so good on me like my skin doesn't even look dry like i don't know what kind of formula or what kind of finish that um foundation claims to be but sometimes when i do a certain foundation it makes me look so cakey especially when i put on too much which honestly i did in the beginning like i don't know how many pumps i did but i can tell i did too much because i literally had to take this brush and like clean off whatever I had extra because it was just if I kept going it was going to be to the point where I wouldn't have been able to blend it out so a little bit definitely goes a very very long way especially with the brush now this next product is from Ciate London I love Ciate London I have a couple other products from them but I've never tried any powders from them so this is this is their everyday vacay coconut setting powder I wonder if this smells like coconut. Whoa, oh my god, I did way too much. I think this is supposed to be translucent because it looks really white, but I don't know if it's going to stay. It does smell like coconut. Oh my god, that smells fabulous. Oh, okay, really white, really, really white. Even though this is like a translucent powder or whatever, I'm really hoping... That's gonna help lighten me up even more because I'm just scared of not not matching like that's the worst feeling when you're like going out or you have like a lot of skin exposed like I'm wearing a tank top right now and your face doesn't match your neck like even if you blend it down you could just tell that something's off like it just makes me feel self-conscious the rest of the day and it's no fun so I'm trying super super hard to make sure that I'm cohesive right now okay I'm gonna pause go do some bronzer blush and then I'll come back and I'll bake with that powder again okay I just went ahead and slapped on some bronzer really quick and then I did some blush I used this uh profusion cosmetics pink nudes palette and I kind of mixed these two wow you cannot see that hello reflection um these two pinky blushes the matte and the shimmer one literally slapped on my face as quick as I can because I am running late and now I'm just going back in with the Ciate London powder and I am going to bake I'm so out of breath because I just had to run up and down my stairs to go get my mascaras. I had them in my purse down there. <sighs> I am so out of shape. Anyway, while I have this Ciate powder baking on my face, I'm going to go ahead and quickly apply my mascara. So for mascara today, I'm actually mixing two. These are not BoxyCharm, just what I'm doing in case you're curious. Actually, this one is a BoxyCharm. I think this is last month's BoxyCharm. This is from Grande Drama. And this is their Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. And then this is just my favorite L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara. I 
Now that I've got my mascara done, I'm actually going to go ahead and just do my lips to kind of finish off the look. This is another BoxyCharm product. Again, not this month's, but a past month's box. And this is from Dose of Colors, and this is one of their matte liquid lipsticks in the shade Flirty. I had to go and apply some Vaseline before I do this because my lips were so chapped and I kept like licking them and I was just like, this is gross and it's not doing anything. So now that my lips are hydrated, I can actually go in with this matte liquid lip. I just realized I forgot to use these other two brushes. I am such a flop. I cannot with myself. Okay, anyway, I'm going to take... What are you? This complexion brush, and I'll just use you to, like, dust away my powder. I should have used this for blush or something. That would have been, like, a great blush brush. But again, I just don't pay attention. I just don't. Ooh, this one, you know what I can do this one for? Highlight. I'm going to use highlight. This highlight I'm going to use today is from Ofra, and this is Rodeo Drive. And this one I'm going to use with the brightening brush. So now I can say I used all three. Alright, so there you have it. This is my full and completed look using most of my BoxyCharm products that I got in my box this month. And I really hope you guys like it. I think everything actually turned out so good. The only thing I was like major concerned about was the foundation because it looked so orange when I first put it on, but it actually ended up blending out really great. And using that tar concealer to lighten it all up really helped it um, lighten and not look as orange. And I think the powder was fantastic. Again, I love the coconut smell. Brushes actually really surprised me, especially this bronzing brush, which I use as a foundation brush. If you've ever seen my other videos, you know I am diehard beauty sponge. I am not team brush, but when I used this, I was so surprised at how well and how fast it blended everything out. So I think I'm going to have to try this one out again because I really liked it the first time around. But yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys really like my video, and if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe if you want to see more. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you love this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!